Right then, we are back with more palling around. Um, I did just grab another huge rocky egg from the other base, so I put it away. I've had to build a third chest because we are absolutely egged up at the moment. So uh, I want to have a quick look. I, I had a thought about an area where I built a base before in my previous run through. Uh, it's not the most beautiful area in the world, but it does. it's right next to a black marketeer. So it is pretty damn cool because of that. So let's head down there. Fast travel. And there was some ore down there as well. I think it was near the desolate church. It was near here. Let's jump on you again. So it was near here and I think it was over... Where's the, where's the water? It's down here then, isn't it? So I built down here. I think I've showed you this already before. This area here. So in there, you've got the Black Marketeer, who you can buy and sell pals from. But this area here is a nice big open area, but it's also closed off on two sides by mountains. Or there's this area up here, which is a bit more open. This might be better, though, because we can do it with no rocks in there. We can leave the ore mine going over the other side. We've got access to ore up here if we need We don't need to, because we're going to have the ore mine still going for now, aren't we? So, um, probably going to be okay for that. Depends. What do you think? Down here? We'll access the Black Marketeer pretty easily. There is some ore around here as well if we need it desperately. Um, and we've got... It's not bad, is it? I, I, yeah, I need to make a decision. I really do. I like it. I do like it. Got a bit of water down there, not that we ever need it, but um I need to get off. I could I've not got good enough aim with these to even be involved, have I? Okay. It's a nice area, I think. Plan would be to build. Okay. I think we put this down as a lo as a possible. Let's put this down as a possible base. Yeah, you've got the per. It's a nice flat area. You've got the perks of that over there. So this is an opportunity. Let's let's keep looking. Because we don't want to move the other one until the hatch the last egg anyway, do we really? So up here you've got a bit more openness. It's a lot more open. It's a bit more difficult to defend. But it's still not bad, is it really? What else have we got then? I mean, there's loads of areas. You can see look, loads of flat areas where they sort of allow you to, to think about building. And up here is good as well, like I said, in the beach because then you've got access to the penking um, for farming. You don't necessarily need that because um, you don't need that because there is a lot of uh, fast travel points close by these bosses that make it easy for doing that anyway. The fast travel point here. Let's grab this one. Let's have a look at maybe... So there's quite a few areas over here. Yeah. Oh. I didn't mean to have you out. Okay, let's bring you back. I meant to have you out. Okay, um... 
yeah, there's quite a few areas around here apparently as well. The problem is we've got to make sure we build one that doesn't have a base or a camp underneath it. Otherwise, we could get absolutely uh, caught out there. Look at that over there. That's nice. We're close to two camps for saving pals. There's a bit of ore there if we need it. We've got the woolly pops around us for getting... Um... This might actually be a good shout as well. It's a bit more nicer to look at. There's a dungeon though. Can we build this close to a dungeon is the question. I don't know if we can, you know. Level nine, uh, level nineteen. We're good enough to go in there now, actually. Um, I don't. Well, I can't even build it anyway, can I? Because say I've got insufficient materials. It'll say we're too close, but I mean, this is a decent shout. If it lets us build here, you've got tons of trees around. You've got a little bit of ore there if you're desperate. You've got some stone over there if you're desperate. We're not going to need stone or wood anyway because we're going to have that, but. I like this. I like this a lot. But again, it depends on whether we can... Um, it depends on whether we can um, build here because of the... Yeah, because of the bitty bob. You know what I mean. Because of the cave, the dungeon. That's what I'm trying to say. There was also a couple more down here though as well, which again are a bit more nicer to look at. That one there is just central of two camps. I mean, this one again is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's nice. It's big. It's open. Again, it's a dungeon though, isn't it? It's the issue we've got. Okay. There's one straight ahead of us, which is massive. But that's got a camp on it. Yeah, it's one with a camp on it. Okay. We're starving. Or is Van Worm starving? I have a way everyone's hungry. Um, what's in there? That's a f floppy or a bunny. Okay. Van Worm is starving to death again. God, this thing just eats. This thing eats so freaking much. So there is two options there. We need to head back first. We need to get the breeding camp taken down. And we'll bring it out here with us, I think. We're going to build on top of the majority of it. It's all going to be stone anyway. Okay, let's head home. Yeah, I think we're going to do... Okay, this is looking pretty decent. We've got a lot of that ore down now. Good old dig toys. Uh, food. That's what I came back for. Can I, like, make some food? Let's make some eggs. Where's, what's happened to all our berries? We've got barely any berries left. Why are the berries not growing? We just don't we run out of berries for some reason. I don't understand why we run out of berries. We're gonna run out of food here altogether at this rate. Have I got no planters? Are you not a planter? Are you not a planter? Have I just taken Have I put you in? You're a gatherer, not a planter. Is that what's happened here? No, you are a planter. Okay, you should be doing it then. 
So you have a better planter? You're a level 2 planter. Okay. Let's put you in. Why aren't you planting? I don't want you grazing. I want you planting. This is the issue, I think, isn't it? I need you planting. Okay. You're being raided by a herd of violent wild pals. Okay. This could be interesting. We could get something cool here. No, they're all them bloody frog things again, aren't they? Is there anything interesting? So bit different. There's another Incineram in there. Okay. I don't know how good Incineram actually is, but I do like him. He's got. Uh, he's okay. Maybe he's better in the team than anything else. But we've got a fire flying. We've got a fire dark already, haven't we? Are you out? Out? No, you're not out. Out, are you? Are you going to eat now? Here we go. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to capture some stuff while we're here. Okay, we caught a workaholic in Cineram. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, well, that's fine. We've, we've done that. I want to maybe put you in because you, all you do is plant. Okay, let's put you in. Let's sleep for the night. Get through the night. Good oak. And everyone's up and about. Okay. Um. Everyone's hungry, but we just haven't got good food, have we? God, we are really, really struggling here. All right, everyone eat them berries. You are planting. Okay, we need some watering. Okay, that's been done now. We're going to start growing some more stuff up now. Okay. Oh, it's a bit of a mess, wasn't it? Uh, right. So what I want to do is I want to go... I still think there's a good possibility we just build the base over here. Are they out of cake? They're out of cake. Okay, I think this is uh I think this is an out then. Okay, let's do a builder, disassemble, boom, that. And that. Does that dis that does disassemble that as well, okay. And that and that, okay. Now let's run around and pick up all the materials. Oh. Over encumbered. Oh crap. Um what are we ever encumbered with? Well, it's all... It's wood, is it? Let's drop half the wood. And we'll go back and drop this stuff off. Like I said, I sort of really want to... Um, just try that out until we can put the base down somewhere else. Bit it properly though this time. None of this half measures we've got at the moment. Alright, put you in there as well, okay. And now we have to go back and just get the rest of those materials. Don't necessarily need the rest of those materials to be honest, but it's worth doing. Uh wrong button, it's this one here, and then that. Okay. Right, 
I'll get the rest of those materials. So that's enough of the PAL table bench, whatever it's called. So we'll keep that on us. And this was a good shout, though, for beating the Penkin, and getting the um, farming the ancient points, but I would like to be a bit more lush and a bit more enjoyable to look at. Bear in mind, we're going to be inside the base a lot of it, to be honest, but... Okay. We are starving. It's just constant... How are we always struggling so much for food? Food has really become a bottleneck at the moment. Okay. Okay. And fast travel. Should we go have a look at that area then that I put forward? I'm not sure if it let us build there because of the, um... Oh, hello. Oh. Because of the, uh, the bitty bob, like I said, the dungeon. It might be alright. But for collecting high quality pal oil, which is going to be a big thing at the moment. If we can be near these Woolapops, whatever they're called. It seems like a pretty good place to be. I mean, we could just farm these and get the coarse ammo, to be honest, but... Excelente. Right. Let's jump on your back. There's a Relaxosaurus there. Nice. The Realm of the Thunder Dragon. So basically this is um, Relaxosaurus Lux, I think it's called. Which is a electric version of Relaxosaurus. Okay, so these are the Woolapups. This is what we need for the high-quality pal oil. Right, okay. So, disembark. How are we one stone short? How? To be one stone short. Okay. So there's two camps down there. There's a dungeon behind us. We can build it here. Okay. Right. First of all, let's bring you in. Foundations. I need. Problem is, I want to do this first. Then I'm now got no, enough stone, but I want to put the piece of stone down to build the power box on top of, so the power box can be inside. Right. Now we are going to move this around based on the circle we get. So power box. I want it on top of... You not build it on top of something? Can you not build the power box on top of a, a block? No? Okay. Well, that's ruined that idea. Building, get rid of. Okay. More. Oh, I can see the. Can I see the blue line? I can see the blue line. Okay. Let's try that. See what how it works. Okay. Okay. 
where do we stand then? So the blue line comes around here. Hmm. The ore's right on the edge. That's absolutely that's actually quite a good thing. Does it encapsulate a few of these trees? It does. I feel like I might want to move it forward a touch. Yeah, it can go forward a little bit, can't it? Yeah, let's move it forward a tiny bit. Okay, so... Build. Disassemble. Move forward a tiny bit. Can I see where the blue line is going to be? Okay, the blue line comes round. Cuts a little bit off that. Still just about has this ore in it. Okay. Okay, third time lucky. Um, seed cancel. Right, we've got that bit of ore, that's fine. Okay, this looks perfect to me. Get that built. Boom. Okay. Perfect. Nice, we've got two camps, we've got a dungeon behind us. We've got access to the high quality pal oil. This is a nice place to set up home. A nice place. We do need though, obviously, to... want to build stuff, don't I? I've seen some really cool builds. I don't really know where to start with them, to be honest. My plan was to have a really cool area. The problem is this... I really want the power box to be in the mid... Uh, yeah. The power box doesn't seem to want to go on top of a... Inside a building. Okay, maybe we'll build a building over here then. Right, let's get the central point, which is going to be here. There you go. And this can be our crafting building. Obviously, we're going to need a ton of snow. Um, snow. Stone. We can now, obviously, fast travel back and forth between the two bases. And I can grab as much stone as I want. But what we need to do first is grab ourselves an Anubis. Hopefully, one that's a workaholic. Workaholic aggressive hooligan. Oh, my word. Oh, my word, indeed. What do they do? So... I don't know if you're better in my team. So aggressive gives you plus 10% attack, and a hooligan gives you plus 15% attack. Okay. Yeah, I think you're better in the team, mate, to be honest. You are now our new teammate. You're our ground type. Okay. That works pretty well. So yeah, next time round then, we will start to um, rebuild the new base, I suppose. We're going to build a nice double high stone building. But these guys can... Oh my god, look at this. Look. I wish there was a button that said take as much as you can carry. But there is not, okay. Can I carry 50? I can. Okay, just about. So yeah, we'll build a nice little double high stone building. Nice, big and wide. Which they can come into and they can do crafting and that for us. Um, 
We also want maybe another double high stone building which they can live inside. We'll put the hot spring in there and all the beds. That'd be nice for them. Um, obviously we want to set up the grazing. We can move some of the stuff across. Like the breeding thing, we don't need here any more grazing. We can move across. Egg incubators will move across with all the eggs. Uh, farming, the mill. All we need here is a berry farm just to refill the food bowls. Smeltery, crusher, all that stuff. We'll probably move across. Uh, we might need the smeltery, who knows. Uh, we'll move it across. We'll get all the good stuff in the new base. This will solely just be for mining ore. Everything out of these chests can move across as well. We'll have to set up a proper storage room with proper chests in there as well. We'll have like a, I don't know, a ore, a stone, materials, woods. And hopefully they'll start to put stuff away in the right chests, which apparently they do do. But I've never seen it. Right. I love you. Leave you then. Good night. God bless. I'll be the same. Next time we start to build the new base.